first meeting, most important meeting, for our expansion of our airport. Uh, something that we've been working on, I know myself and Gus and Ramita for the past year and a half. Uh, we have this new approach here in the Valley where we think regionally, and we know as, as a region that we will need a second airport, and we will need a large international airport due to the calendar being landlocked. And this plan allows us to set up the budget, how much something like this would cost, how much land we would need, and what uh, companies are already interested in. But the most important part is how to finance something like this, a project of this scale. It uh, allows us to go back into our research and find investors, possibly do a P3 project, everything we can to not raise taxes, not use tax dollars, uh, get federal funding, state funding, uh, and, and what little local funding we can do as a city. Uh, this is a step one of, of many meetings to come in the next year, two years, uh, in our plan to grow our international airport. Uh, we want to make sure that you know we're growing the city and of course our infrastructure, our airport, our transportation needs. So it's exciting. Uh, we had some expert panelists. Uh, we had some consultants come in and visit with us. And of course our city leaders, as you see in the video, uh, the mayor and our council, and of course our leaders and directors here in the city. Uh, we have some great experts here that are going to give us some direction and create a business plan for the citizens and the community, and we're, we can be more excited. We had Tech Scott here as well, looking at our ideas and talking to us about what we need to do to be able to get funding and grow our airport. As you know, the valley is growing, and transportation is vital to the expansion and growth of the community, the infrastructure needs. These are just like anything else we might have, so we're really excited about the things that we're looking at and how we're going to promote the city and the citizens of Edinburgh's assets and resources and infrastructure to grow the valley and its resources so we can bring more growth, more job opportunities, and of course investment into our into our okay, airport yeah. so exciting times we're looking forward to seeing what this, right, the future right, right, holds right. and how okay. this business plan is going to affect our marketing opportunities for the city and of course the EDC. Uh, today we had a great meeting uh, a number of the uh, a diverse group of people came in from all types of perspectives but the one common common theme was that they were positively engaged with the airport uh, we find that uh, quite refreshing uh, some communities don't have that kind of support and uh, Edinburgh is actually blessed that they do because uh, ultimately it will help the airport move forward and grow. Uh, specifically at the meeting today uh, there were a number of, of instances where we we heard ideas that um, are innovative that uh, will carry uh, you know, certainly what we're doing in the business plan forward, and we'll present, we're, we're going to take what we learned today, go back and study, uh, do our homework, research, and uh, probably in about uh, three or four months come back with uh, some alternatives uh, and make sure that, that we're on the same page uh, with the decision makers here as to where you want to go with your airport. So that's sort of the business planning process. It was a great day today and uh, appreciate everybody showing up.